That's good. Thanks, Carly. Well, voters on Maui are still waiting to find out who their ninth council member will be, even after the rest of the council took their oaths of office on Monday. That's because of a lawsuit alleging hundreds of ballots were mishandled. KTV4's Ali Duclo today talked with both of the candidates. Nearly two months after Election Day, the ninth seat on the Maui County Council, covering Wailuku, Waikapu, and Waihe'e, is still vacant. Incumbent Alice Lee won the race by 513 votes over Noilani Ahia. But Ahia is challenging the results in a lawsuit. Now, the decision lies with the Hawaii Supreme Court, which I'm told typically issues a ruling before a candidate is supposed to be seated. It's been said that the only other case that people can remember that where the Supreme Court uh, didn't do that was in the case of um, Tommy Waters and Trevor Ozawa in 2018, 2019. In that case, the court allowed both Honolulu City Council candidates the chance to make oral arguments, then ordered a new election. That's when Ozawa's victory over Waters was overturned, and Waters became the council member representing East Honolulu. Ahia's suit, which has the support of 30 Valley Isle voters, alleges the office of the county clerk did not give the 800 voters whose ballots were deemed deficient enough time to correct them. There was concern that not only were hundreds of voters being disenfranchised, but also that it made the results of the election unknowable because after a week, you can no longer count ballots. Even if they were lawfully cast, um, there's a deadline to count ballots after the election day. But Lee calls the lawsuit baseless, arguing the election staff did everything by the book. It's very unfair because when you look at the facts and you look at the law, they're clearly above reproach. Now, you have to look at the source of the lawsuit. It was a candidate who lost. So under the circumstances, uh, it's probably more emotional than factual. It is unclear when the Supreme Court will announce its decision. We reached out to the Maui Elections Division and are awaiting a response. Aali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.